Point yeah. for here. Let me put it here. Nice. Yeah. Ooh, if you watch much. closely, you will see it moving. Yeah. Oh, um, it's painful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. That is it's painful. Are you used to it? Are no, you this is level? my name is Additional Daniel Oduton. I'm a Nigerian. I came to the United States five years ago. I've been beekeeping business over 27 years. Uh, I fell in love with beekeeping when I was at the final year in university. And uh, to, be, to God be the glory, I've been on it since then up to now. And I've never regretted it. You know, in the course of doing beekeeping, I began to research and trying to make research. And I come across how to use bee products for healing of human being. And that, was, that, uh, that is epitherapy. Epitherapy simply means the use of bee products to prevent, to heal, and to recover someone from Ill ailment. So when we talk about epitherapy, epitherapy is just a natural therapy, an holistic therapy that uh, involves all the bee products. It, it, it is not only only bee produce. Bee produce nine products. It produces honey. Even the honey falls into two categories, depends on where the resources collected. It is plant origin, we have a flower origin. You know, honey, that is honey, we get pollen, royal jelly, bee venom. You know, this epitherapy we are talking about, as I've said, is the use of bee product, all these bee product. And don't forget, it's not limited to bee product. There are still other holistic therapy that they work hand in hand. They are in a harmonious relationship like anufeda, acupuncture, um, this uh, phytotherapy, that's the ABA use of ab, uh, aromatic, this aromatherapy, this is uh, a use of essential oil. All these when we use them together with, epithera uh, with epitherapy, they are together. And this epitherapy we are talking about, it is holistic treatment that I've told you. Let's say somebody, you want to treat somebody, you say, I'm having a headache. You need to find out the root of the problem before you suggest any solution. Maybe this one having a headache because you have not eaten. Or maybe because somebody has a stress or tension, it can cause headache. Well, this one, maybe because it has uh, indigestion or stuff like that. So in case of epitherapy or natural therapy, you need to go to the root cause of the problem before you know what to apply. Look at this. I said they are products like honey, royal jelly, propolis. They work for different purposes. But you need to understand what exactly the problem. As it is, the holistic treatment, you see, every human being is a spirit being. As a soul, living in a body. You only see this, the, the symptom of sickness in the body. What of the soul and the spirit? You know, you need to go to all this to really get the, to the root of the problem. If there's any problem in the body, it means there's imbalance in the other one. So this epitherapy we are talking about is, is, is just a way of God helping people. Beat itself is a sacred being. It's a sacred creature. It's in the Bible. It's in the Quran. If you look at the Bible, even they make reference to honey, 
comparison to the word of God. Now, when we are talking about epitherapy, I said it involves all the B product. There's what we call B venom therapy. This B venom product, this is the tools to use to administer it. You know, I started big, I started using uh, B venom therapy. This is the book that inspired me. I bought it in, uh, that was around the year 2000 or 2001. I bought it from UK, B for development. I so love the book, I know every detail here. The author is an American, Charles Misra. You know, this great man, this great man, he have treated so many cases on, with B venom. You know what? They never believe him. Many people argue there's no scientific backing. And from, from his experience, most of these medical doctors that criticize him, they come back to him at the, from, at the back to learn from him because of tremendous work he has done. I read this book. It gave me boldness. It gave me confidence. It happened when my mom was sick some years back, around that 2001. She has a raised BP, we go to the hospital, they say she, she has a partial paralysis, and I've read this book. You know, you know when you know something, you be, I want to try it, I want to see it happen. I told them, I want to release my mom. They said, no, they said I should sign, I sign. I took my mom home. I started with B-Venom therapy. She was ill. I started with other people. I've used Virtually every product of B, B product, to treat one ailment or the other. I will go on with that. But this is epitherapy. You are using B venom therapy, doesn't make you epitherapist. Because before you say you are using, you, you are talking about epitherapy, it involves all the B product. You see, as human being, as we are, we have a trigger point. You need to know it as experience and a trained epitherapist. So let's say someone wants to come for treatment. As an uh, epitherapist, there's what we call B-venom sensitivity test. You want to know, maybe the person will react positively or not. And also, you don't give so much venom at the start. There's what to know. When they, call, when they come as a patient, you don't even just start applying the B-venom. You need to ask, what is your, 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 your lifestyle look like? What kind of food you eat? Are you doing exercise? Those are things you need to know as a therapist before you apply anything. Based on what the patient say, then you will know what exactly you needed to do. In case of B-venom, Let's say this venom, this B venom therapy. All you need to do, you don't, you give them a little dose. This B venom is so powerful. When you receive a stink air, you will feel it working your body. So you need to start with little dose. We call it B venom sensitivity test. For somebody who have never been stung before, you anywhere, any any place you want to put the stage, you first need to make the place numb with ice, maybe ice cube, put it there. So that it won't feel the effect of this pain. You know, there's this uh, Chinese, uh, Chinese um, proverb. It says, the pain that take away pain act as medicine. You know the pain, you are receiving pain from the, from the bees. And there's a pain in this. Look at people with arthritis or rheumatism, all those people. There's a pain. There's swell up. There's inflammation. All this symptom is what B will produce in your body. B venom therapy is a kind of classic example of homeopathic principle. Homeopathic principle says a substance that produces symptom of it of a disease 
is a cure to that disease. The same thing to this uh, Chinese proverb, that a pain that kills pain act as a medicine. In my own dialect, they said, ekpe lafin wo ekpe. We use cause to cure cause. So if you have pain, what causes the pain? Because there's no flow. There's a blockage. The blood is not flowing. And when you put the stain, it will bring up blood. When you, when you give a stain to people, the, 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 lo the local area will be red for the blood. The bee venom carry oxygenated blood. To true, if there's any blockage, it through it, so that there be a flow. That is what it does. This is a pollen. This is a bee pollen. This is another wonderful product from bees. I've collected this for a long time. This is the, what is left. It, it gives instant energy, just like honey. This is a propolis. You can see this is a propolis tincture. There's a way to pro produce this. This thing, it work miracle. This thing I'm holding here. It work miracle. Everything about bees is a miracle. If I put this thing on thing, now you will enjoy the environment. Good smell. That smoke that coming is all you need to inhale. I've used it to treat many asthmatic patients. I started with my boy. My boy doesn't have his asthma. I prepare the shako, put the fire there. It, it gives a red, it light. I just put this there. Immediately it begin to the smoke, it begin to inhale it. That's how the thing gone. And I've used it for many uh, asthmatic patients, many. This thing you are saying, I have so many testimonies about it. This is a tincture. This is more concentrated, more concentrated in this form. This just alone, you can dissolve, it can only dissolve in alcohol. It's not water soluble. It can only dissolve in alcohol. And even the alcohol must very high degree percentage, like 95% alcohol before it can dissolve. My wife has a toothache. That thing, that uh, problem, all the teeth already broken with so much pain. All I do is I just dissolve this in alcohol. Not more concentrated like this. Dissolve it, ask her to put it there. It's hot. That was the end of the pain. So on that note, all these products, you can, it can only be an experienced beekeeper. Look at this is propolis trap. This is how we got it. Is all these? These are propolis. Mm -hmm. This is a propolis trap. Mm -hmm. Look at this. You see, this is propolis. You see the bees. The way bee produce all this is they use it to close any opening in the hive. This is antibiotics. There's no any antibiotics that's stronger as this propolis. You see, let's say in a bee colony, maybe rat or anything die there, instead of smelling, giving bad odor or trying, the bees will use this to embalm that dead is whatever. In Egyptian days, they used all to embalm, to embalm dead, you know, before this civilization. They used propolis to embalm. Let me give another testimony about this. That somebody has a dog, that dog has a skin infection. It's in, it's, the person was in my neighbor. I said, I will give you something. Just bath your, your dog. Take this propolis to rub the body. The person did that. That was the end. Don't forget where I started. Bee is a gift from God. 
But God give power to some things to use. Because you can't see God. Some people don't even believe God. But there's something that you can use and they can believe that. If this is a water, if they tell you this water can heal you, if you believe, even though it may not work, but if you believe that it will, it will heal you, and use it, it will, it will heal you. Just discover you are healed. You understand? Mm -hmm. That is it. Instead of people wasting so much money, go to hospital, do that, at year there will be um, side effects. But this is a natural way. But because people don't believe in it, even though it can heal them, it will not work for them because they don't believe in it. That was my emphasis. I think it was 2013. I happened to be the state chairman of my state for Beekeeper Association. The, the state government wanted to give a loan to our farmers. As a chairman, you need to inspect and be sure of who and who entitled to that loan. This very day, we went to this one of our farmers' farm. Before that day, I have a pain, sharp pain. I can't stretch my hand here. The pain is so much. I have to wonder, where did I go this? I was battling with it. At the back of my head there, I'm having an issue itching me. As we went to spare the farm, as we enter, a beast stung me here. As we're about to come out, another one stung me here. Ah. Within a few minutes, everything left, gone. No pain here, no issue here. I'm going to wonder, ah, how do they know that I have this issue? They came here. They stung me here. Till tomorrow, that's how it ended. And I continue asking questions. I've never got answer. How do they know? So that's just to tell you the potency of B.I. product. If you want to say, you, it's not only B venom. I brought this thing from Nigeria to America. This is the first set. I know anywhere I'm going, I must go with this. All you need is put the bees here, take it. There's a way to take it. Grab the bee with that. Just grab the bee at the thorax. Mm -hmm. Don't take it in the abdomen. Because the minute you put the bees here, it sting you. Mm. In some of my things that I wrote on Facebook, I say, Epitherapy is the future of medicine. So the law, look at all what I've told you. Is it asthma? Is it eye problem or all this? You use the particular product for particular ailment. You understand? Your case may not require B venom. Your case may need B venom and pollen. Your case may be only honey and royal jelly you need. Look at honey. If you want to, for beauty, ordinary rubbing honey. Honey, ordinary rubbing on with your face. Do that for two weeks. You will be amazed how beautiful your face look like. Or you have a broken hair. Your hair is not, it's breaking. Mixed with honey and olive oil. You will be amazed. So I will deal with you according to your issues. That's how it is. Look at all this. I, I, these are all libam, organic libam. Even the wax. Oh, even the wax, yes, even the wax. Just light it. Do you know what? Yeah, it reminds me. Only bring, only bees, they bring good omen. When you, as I'm having only my house, it attracts good things. So only attract, bring good omen. I remember one Indian man in Nigeria. You know what he asked me to do? He asked me to bring colony to their, to their business premises. I wonder, I said, why? He said, don't you know he bring good omen to their business? They have a big colony in the compound of their, their premises in Africa. Wow. In African culture, our old people, they recommend for you, keep only a bottle, just as little. Put it at the corner of your, of your room. No evil will come near you. That's 
they understand it. Let me tell you one thing. You can't be a epitherapist if you are not a beekeeper. You cannot be a epitherapist if you are not a beekeeper. Where will you get all these things? It's not something you manufacture yourself. It is bee because you are a beekeeper. That's when you can get it. Even the beekeeper, not every beekeeper can are uh, epitherapist. Because if say you are you are keeping bees, the only thing you produce is honey or wax. You must be able to produce all the rest. And not limited that to that. Because you produce, you still need to be trained. How will you know where this a, a trigger point? How will you know where to apply the bee sting? How will you know whether your case don't require sting? It only needs this and that. So everything needs training. So I'm open to anybody who wants treatment. As I told you, you must believe in what you want to do. If you don't believe it can cure you, why do you come? Because don't forget that this treatment we're talking about, the major player is the patient. You are the one to be healed or not to be healed. I can tell you, take this thing two times daily. If you are taking one time, I don't, I don't. <laughs> Definitely you cannot kill, be healed. So any treatment you want to take, you are the determinant. Whether you want to get healed is you. Whether you don't want to get healed is you. But we need to work out a modality to make you, you know, this thing is painful. <laughs> I, sometimes I change myself. Do you know what, do you know when I work with bees? I don't normally get st stung. If I'm stung, maybe occasionally when, when I'm handling the frame, I mistakenly not knowing bees are there, I press them, they sting me. That's only cases. If I'm stung by bees, I have understanding that I need to be stung. That's why the bees sting me. I not guess, not normally get stung. Because I don't afraid of. And this bee's nose is not magic. It's year of experience, how you have been dealing with them. Most of the people I train, some of them they don't wear anything to work with bees. Because they see me doing it. And I make them don't afraid. The only weapon you have is the smoke. If you know how to handle the smoke, the smoker to deal with bees, the bees will cooperate with you, yes. I, I, I love beekeeping. I love it and because uh, it gives me freedom. You are not the one to do the honey, to produce it. All these products, you are not the one. All you need to provide for them and know how to mani manipulate them. This is technology. They manipulate them to do this. Do you know bees talk? Bees. Big talk. And you can talk to bees too. When I put this thing in the colony, I tell bees, fill it with propolis. When the bees have an issue, they want to swarm. There's indication they will make for me to, eh, you want to go? Don't go. Maybe when there's no space, they want to swarm. Those from all you need more space. That's how we talk. Yeah. Do you talk out loud to them or do you talk to them quietly? No. The way we talk is this. Yeah. We talk with information, with material. I give them this, they know what they should do. Yeah. So when they want to me to know something, then there's a sign they will make. That immediately I see it, I say, oh, this is what. So that's how we talk. When I was in Africa, there's no year that I've never traveled. I travel every year to Europe. And I went there to work, to learn. I, have, I want to acknowledge all my teachers. The man, you see, this my teacher who taught me the epitherapy, Dr. Stephen Stagasio, is a medical doctor. He's not interested in B product. That's why it's easy for him to know so much how to apply it or this and that. He's the one who taught me. 
he didn't know much about beekeeping. But he relates with a lot of beekeepers. He know a lot of stuff from them. So when he invited me to Germany, I said, I needed to know more about queen breeding. Royal jelly is one of the bee products. And that's the, the substance the queen eats to live longer and lay eggs. Always 2,000 eggs every day. It's kind of fertility that royal, it increased fertility of. So he knows, he's a teacher that taught me epitherapy. So when I got to Europe, he handed me over to one man that had been the best for me. He has been the best thing that ever happened to me. That is Arno Bruder, he's a German. He was the vice president, German epitherapy society. I wish to be like him and I'm still going there. So he handed me over to Arno Bruder. He's the one who taught me so much about beekeeping. He gave me so much opportunity. I go to Europe, I even go with people. I have a lot of stuff in Africa, activities. I train young people, I have a program, I have a big, big craft club. I've taken many people to Europe to see how things are done. My first time to America, I came for Beekeeping Congress. That was 2014. It's been a great experience for me. I was eternally grateful to them. They are the one who made me who I am today. My name is Adeshino Daniel Odunton. I'm the owner and the chief executive officer of Beecraft Consort, LLC. Our establishment is for training, how to keep bees, and we manage colony for people too, and we consult, and uh, we do epitherapy.